Voters in the Southeast Asian country of Myanmar have cast their first ballots in 20 years. But with an electoral system designed to keep most of the power in the hands of the military and its proxies, residents hoping for democratic reform know they're facing an uphill battle. More than 1,100 seats in Parliament were up for the public's vote on Sunday. The military junta, with the government's financial resources at its disposal, has candidates for more than 95 percent of those seats. Most potential opponents were in prison or under house arrest. Others simply couldn't afford to pay the $500 election registration fee. And according to the nation's constitution, 25 percent of parliamentary seats will go to military appointees, regardless of the vote's outcome. The election's rules have drawn criticism from several world leaders. There was a real chance here, firstly to have free elections, to let Aung San Suu Kyi, the other political prisoners, out, let them campaign, let the NLD run, let the other opposition parties, the NLD are not the only opposition party here, let the other opposition parties run and let them run, get their message across and put their case to the electorate, let the, let the people decide on what they wanted to see. Myanmar, also known as Burma, has been under military rule for nearly a half century. A pro-democracy candidate won the last election in a landslide, but was barred from taking office and later placed under house arrest. It's unclear when the results of Sunday's election will be announced. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.